Miseducating some of those very same schools off lessons and legends of honest Indians and Christian pilgrims and a nation of immigrants all united in freedom that isn't until they pull aside my white friend pointing directly at me and said, Scott, I judge you by the company you keep and you spend your time with this. Let's say most stories, 1846. The adventure of Sam and Stick of Manny Wetback. Show me your paper, stop give me your labor, the melting pot. Was ever made for the hands of cleaning? The American dream has always come at the expense of those who tucked it in. You don't know that. If you don't teach it. Could write you a book, but you won't read it. So you know this is about you. At 1492, and the Treaty of Guadalupe, and California missions, and Arizona schools, these racists, they try to race us as little kids in cities that bear our names, which you can learn from today, to Ferdinand, to Minuteman, from Arpaio, to Alamo, from Boca Buda, so I keep the Indian, to Liz and me, from Mr. 8 to 1843, trying to bury us, they didn't know we were seeds, Canadian minds, and it was right to find out, oh, Mr. Potter, we keep you in, and I keep us brown, but raise the Zapatistas, Richard Nixon, to Napoleon, from Peckinpah, to Houston, from Lone Star Republic, to Christopher Columbus, all the way down to Donald fucking Trump. We didn't cross the borders. The borders cross us. Who you calling immigrants? Pilgrim. Born with original sin and the color of our skin, brown babies with bold becomings. Because grew up in the bad hood, tell him to be good. Do not run, do not walk, do not be beautiful. Born blazing sun since first breath. He's been fighting 14 years without knowing that one day the bronze of his glow would fade on asphalt. This boy from Boyle Heights, begotten of the streets where brown berets still reside because wrong place, wrong time, wrong is wrong is wrong. And the blue boys with their guns have wronged our rights. Before we all die for being born brown, we will use our bodies as billboards. Look at me, brave despite your bondage. There is a story here which repeats, you will beat me until I defeat myself on this bloody border of badges and barrios. We are not bound by your orders, and my brothers will defy all the blades you belt out. We are no longer bystanders as you shoot. We are the breastbone of brave mothers. We'll fight for each other. 
The burden of your badge will collapse on the floor covered in the blood you spilled. Fuck the police. Our bodies are weapons. Our babies are seeds. See me here unafraid. This is war. In Dickies, Navy work apron and silver paint spray hand in hand. He paints with that in place of the brush. The cars in the garage are smaller too. They're micro machines. And like them, the boy feels small and getting smaller. His hopes, his pride, all the world and its colors shrinking to a vanishing point because he knows what she means. I know what she meant. I couldn't expand upon these ideas fast enough. There is nothing wrong with painting cars, painting pictures of cars, or dressing like a trollo, but we are not all the same. You can't paint us all with the same brush, fit us all into the same stroke. Whatever the medium, there's nothing wrong with taking pride in your work, but what is wrong is for anyone to assume that we are a smaller people, a lesser people. It is wrong to assume that any one of us can't be acclaimed, can't hang in your museum, give him the top floor, because my uncle is an artist, a painter, his work has hung in galleries the world over, you can find him in the Smithsonian, see his mural in LA by the 101, and yes, he, like me, is a Mexican, my uncle is an artist, a painter, who's been paid to paint cars that were literally bigger than the Mona Lisa, my uncle is an artist, a painter, and like me, he knows how to use the principle of diminution, which is making objects smaller in a piece of art to help create a sense of perspective. My uncle is an artist, a painter, and he doesn't get paid to talk about paintings. He gets paid to paint them, with checks larger than your desperate attempts to try and reframe him. And I won't let any of you make me feel small about any of us ever again. Artist painting palette filled with pools of marigold. My eyes, eyes are full of sun. I come from the best sons of Mexico, like General Ignacio Zaragoza in the 18th century, once proclaimed on the battlefield of Puebla, quote, we have the best military in the world before us, confronting us, but we are the best sons of Mexico. I am full of sun, a grito like cura caveri, would epicha God of the great fire, and am reborn again and again like a phoenix with the most ancient innocence, burning upon my face from Atlantean depths of deal deal dreaming, with the Leviathan awaiting in the reflected pools of the painting palette. Artistas para siempre. We are artists forever, but does our paint fade with time and the turn of the dime? Artistas para siempre.